Um, I played a lot around with PropStream and I've actually come up with um, a new list that I'm going to send through Skip yeah. Tracing. I just want to, and I want to get a little bit more um, leads to add in. I want to get like yeah. maybe 500 leads. <laughs> So I did vacant. Um, I'm sorry, I did uh, failed um, MLS fail. And then I looked in when I went into the details, I looked to see if there were uh, multiple price adjustments. Yeah. When it pulled off the market. Super smart. So I it obviously, and then a lot of them come up for with pre foreclosures. Um, yeah. And they're they're recent. Yeah. So I'm playing to send, I'm going to skip trace those today. It's, I just have, after I get off the call with you, I'm going to add a little bit more, but prop stream is actually helping me get like a big yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. You, you've, uh, you've discovered the magic of that tool. <laughs> um, you know, that's what I wanted to talk to you about today. I, I, um, I wanted to answer any questions you have and stuff and help you out in any way I can, but also I wanted to visit just briefly to make sure that, I've I've done my job well enough so far where uh, you've done the, the appropriate thing. So I want to make sure that you have enough leads and that you are getting them on a routine or a regular basis or you feel like you can okay. and you have it kind of planned out because that's, that's the basis of that's mountain number one. Right. Mm -hmm. And then, and then mountain number two, you're pretty good at. Um, so but mountain one feeds mountain two. <laughs> so are, are you doing okay with this or is there something that I can do to help you bolster up your, your habitual lead generation or. You know what? Uh, it's just the, the plan. Like I watched the videos yeah. that you put up about with the leads every time. So every time I watch something that you put out, it kind of helps me yeah. like shift something else in my mind. So, you know what, play with this and see how many leads you can get from this. And then it opens yeah, up yeah. a whole new batch of leads. Yeah. Have you found that you can get in there and just kind of like start playing with it? And then like, next thing you know, it's been 45 minutes and, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're all like, you're like, Oh, I think I found a new one. No one's ever thought of before. Yeah. It's uh, crazy. I, I also noticed that. So the quick target list at the top, it's very different. If you, you get different results. If you do a quick target list with the filter yeah. versus going down the list and actually putting in what you want. I don't yeah. know why it does that. Yeah, I'm not sure either. Maybe it's arranged differently uh, or, or in a different order, the listings. I don't, I don't know, but I've noticed that too. I actually like to leave the quick quick list finder, you know, the, the drop-down menu that has mm -hmm. that big long list of where you can generalize the search. I like to actually leave that blank and then kind yes. of go, like what you're talking about, go over and really detail all of it like that. That's kind of my favorite way. There's another list that I started to compile. I've only found a couple. Uh, I'm looking for the, uh, I think you had said something to me before on a previous coaching call where it's the, the 180 day range about, it's about to expire how long it's been listed yeah. for, yeah. 160. And then yeah. I leave it until it hits the 180. So yeah. I can hit them at the end of, um, yeah it weren't expiring. So now, you know, yeah. they still wanted to sell and it didn't work out with the realtor before yeah. they jumped to another realtor. Maybe I can get in there and say, Hey, I'm an investor. Yeah. I'd like to buy your property. Yeah, exactly. Is that pretty traditionally how it works there in your area where they have uh, listings, exclusive agent listings are about six months. Yeah, that's exactly yeah. what it, and then you yeah. see them. And I've noticed also what the trend is, is that they'll leave it for about um, six months and then it, either that same agent will pull it and then wait like a month or two. And then all of a sudden it pops back up as a right. brand new listing. And yeah. I don't understand why it does that. Yeah. Um, Cause it's not a new listing when it expires and then they put it back. Yeah. Yeah. Technically it is a new listing because they had to sign a new listing agreement. Oh, right? okay. Um, but it should show right there on prop stream that it was listed and then it failed and then it was relisted again, but, and it should show the prices that it was listed at too, mm -hmm. which is what you're talking about where you found that there were multiple price changes. Yes. Yeah. So I like those, those that, that list looks like it's going to be a bigger list with the, the multiple price adjustments. Um.